Yeah, how, how do you deal with health insurance? Um, I don't know, Paul, how's your health insurance? It's good? It's expensive. Um, I won't get into the particulars here at Rary Pacific. I don't, want to, I don't want to open up a can of worms in any respect, but I, I talk to employers across the, the country that are concerned about the ability they have to provide insurance for their employees because my guess is you're, the price of whatever product or service you sell isn't going up 13.5% a year. And uh, so your prices are being held you know, pretty well constant. And, uh, and yet you have a big part of your cost going up at 13.5% a year. That's not sustainable. At some point, that, that doesn't work. And, and that's why some businesses say, I can't stay in business, or they drop people from health care coverage. They say, we can't cover you anymore because the, you know, we, if, we, if we keep covering you, we'll, we'll ultimately go bankrupt. And so, how are you gonna deal with that? Well, we found a couple of things in, in our state that made a difference. And I think I'm the only governor in America that found a way to do this. One was, I found out that we had about a half a million people in our state that didn't have insurance. Now, if they get sick, we don't just tell them, oh, too bad, you don't have insurance, just stay home and die, all right? That doesn't happen in America, no. You get picked up by an EMS vehicle, you get taken to the hospital. Let's say someone's had a heart attack. Taken to the hospital, you put in a stent, you do a surgery. They're not paying for it because they don't have insurance. The people who are paying for it are you. They do have insurance because you're having to have in your insurance premiums the cost of people that don't have insurance. And so we said, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get everybody into the system. Everybody's gonna be insured. No more free riders. Because you've got a few shadow employees you don't know about, if you will. Some people who, who you're paying for that aren't even working at your company. And so we wanted to get everybody in the system. The other thing we need to do is to, to help reform the overall healthcare market. We talk about doing that with technology. That'll help. One of the key things, in my view, is to have those of us who are, are going to the hospital or going to see a doctor have a real incentive to make sure that we get good quality at low cost. Right now, for most of us, we have a deductible. Once we pay our deductible, it's free from that on. We couldn't care whether the surgery is going to cost 25000 or 50000 because it's indifferent from our standpoint. And I think it makes more sense to put in place something known as co-insurance, where we have a stake in how much something costs, and number two, we know how expensive things are. If you, if you go to a hospital and you ask them how much is it going to cost to have a triple bypass surgery, my guess is they don't know and you don't know anything, anything about it either. Well, we now put in our, in our state a website that looks at all the hospitals, the procedures they provide, how good their quality is, then we give them stars, one to four stars, and then how much the cost is. So you can assess where's the best place to go for health care and how much is it going to cost. Thanks so much. Hi, Bob. After the primaries are over, who would I rather run against?